on, on the heels of this latest interview with Zuckerberg, your thoughts? Have they been investing enough? Have they done enough to really sort of propel the change? So, Morgan, I give Mark a lot of credit for getting out and actually engaging on these topics. This is really in contrast to Google, which I think is guilty of more or less all the same issues, and in some cases worse, uh, but pretends as though it's not actually part of this story. So I give Mark a lot of credit there. But that said, you know, what he's doing is trying to frame the issues in ways that absolve Facebook of responsibility for a lot of the problems it's been causing and essentially try to limit the uh, regulatory impact to a teeny portion of the business that would not affect its business model. And this week, Morgan, we've had four pieces of news already that really put the lie to Mark's, uh, he, he, the whole program that he's putting out there. I mean, first, we had the incredible story on privacy that they were asking new members of Facebook for their email passwords. I mean, that's just blatantly inappropriate. Secondly, we just found out that there was a cache of 540 million Facebook uh, identifications that were left exposed on Amazon Web Services by one of the partners with, with which the, uh, Facebook had traded user data. I mean, that, again, completely inappropriate. I mean, that's almost 10 times as big as, as Cambridge Analytica. And then you had, in India, a different kind of story where they would uh, shut down 700 inauthentic pages, but 98 percent of them were from the opposition party which illustrates the tendency of platforms like Facebook and Google to align with the powerful over the powerless. And then lastly, and it really, it just drives me crazy, Facebook doing a deal with the Daily Telegraph in the United Kingdom to essentially pay to have favorable stories written about the company. I mean, this stuff is just this week, right? And it's really hard to take Mark seriously uh, about how much they've changed with all this brand new stuff going on. And yet the stock is up another 2% today. Well, of and course. Another, another analyst upgrade. I mean, in general, the rally this year, is it just that investors are shrugging this off because based on the, on the financials that they've seen, it would seem that most users and advertisers more specifically are shrugging it off? You know, Morgan, I think we've talked about this frequently. I mean, Amazon yeah. is the best advertising platform on earth. If you want to target an audience... You can't do better. And I do think investors in general have a very short time horizon on this. We're in a market, as you just pointed out in the prior segment, with a lot of momentum in it. And Facebook was, relatively speaking, a lot cheaper than it has been. And so it doesn't surprise me that the stock's doing well. I'm really talking about long-term societal issues and the fact yeah. that you're going to see more regulation in this space. Uh, we certainly have in Europe, Roger, and now this story, we, ha we mentioned it briefly earlier in the hour about Australia passing a law that would yeah. punish social media companies for violent posts, essentially hold them accountable. Is that, is that a new baseline for, uh, for where regulation may be going, or is that, is that extreme given the recent events in that part of the world? Well, Carl, I don't honestly know, but the thing that's clear to me is that we're going to see regulation that is different from geography to geography. I mean, Germany's already said... To Facebook, you can't integrate all your data sets. They've told Google, you know, no street view, and they're trying to minimize privacy invasions in Germany, incremental to what the EU is doing. Obviously, Australia's got the program that they've just announced. I believe New Zealand is probably looking to do something after the horrible uh, terrorism act there. And so I think what you're seeing is that each geography is going to do its own thing, and that is going to make life more difficult. And I think investors. You know, it, these countries may not be individually big enough to move the stock yet, but in aggregate, it's going to make the lives of the managers of these companies a lot more complicated.